Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm gonna show you how to download and install bloop shaders for Minecraft Java in 2025. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you need them, but simply go to your search bar and search for a website called Modrins, like so. Once you enter, you should see modrins.com, simply click on Modrins and you should be on the homepage for Modrins. Now, simply go to the top of the website to discover content and go down to shaders. Now, simply go and search shaders and type in bloop shaders. Like so. And once you type this in, you should see bloop shaders here. Simply click on the name and go on versions. Now, just click the latest file. Once you have clicked the green download button, simply go to a new tab and search for iris shaders so you can run bloop shaders on Minecraft. So simply search up iris shaders and once you entered you should see iris shaders at dev. Simply click on iris shaders and you should go on the homepage for iris shaders. Now go on download now and click download universal jar. As this is a .jar file, you might not be able to run it as you don't have Java installed, not Minecraft Java, but Java for Windows. And if you don't have that already installed, just go to a third tab and search up JDK23. You should see a website like this, which I will have linked in the description as well. And once you accept all, you can just go down, you should see JDK23, select Windows, and click x64 installer. This also works on macOS as well. Once you have your Java situation sorted out, what you can do is go to it, your downloads folder by doing your file explorer here and going to your downloads folder. And if you don't see anything here, it's just because you have a different download path for your web browsers, downloads, but for most of you guys, you'll just see it right here. So once you found your two files here, iris and bloop, simply double click the iris installer. And if you have Java installed, you should see this window here. Simply select the game version you want to play. I'm just going to play the latest one. Select if you want iris only or iris of mods and click install. And once it says completed, you can close the iris installer and go to the Minecraft launcher. And with the Minecraft launcher, what you want to do is make sure that iris is indeed currently installed and we will be able to add the bloop shader pack to our dot Minecraft shader packs folder. Here we also see that we have iris and sodium, so all good. We can go and click the installations tab here and we can go to iris and sodium here and hover over it and find the folder icon. Click on that and you should see a shader packs folder somewhere. So simply find it and double click it. Then go to your downloads folder, click and copy bloop, go back to your previous folder using the top left arrow and click paste. And now you have bloop shaders in your dot Minecraft shader packs folder. You want to go back to the Minecraft launcher, you want to go and play, make sure iris and sodium is indeed selected. If it is, click play. And what's going to happen here, it is just going to download all the required files and folders for iris and sodium and then we will be able to activate bloop shaders. So once we have Minecraft like so, what we can do is simply full screen that and you can play on a like single player server or realm. I'm just going to choose a single player world for that, it works on everything else. And what you want to do here is, well, once you're in the game, you won't see any shaders if you didn't use bloop shaders somehow before. But what you want to do is simply go to escape, options, video settings, shader packs, and you want to select bloop, it will darken, and just click apply. Okay, and when bloop shaders is activated, we can see that we have custom clouds, shadows, amazing looking water, and fog, all in one package called bloop shaders. So yeah, that's how we get bloop shaders for Minecraft. And if we go ahead and go back to the shader packs folder, we have shader pack settings here. And if you click this, we can select different profiles. If I put like extreme, for example, it will just have a lot more detail. It will also change how the game looks. So yeah, it just adds a bit more shadows. It will have a performance effect, but the water is way more clearer now. There's more waves. And yeah, it just makes shadows a bit like better quality and just adds a bit more detail. But yeah, so that's how we get bloop shaders to work 
on Minecraft Java in 2025. So if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.